Hey guys, this is Abhishek from Gadgetstool.com and today we are going to talk about what is quick charging and how does it actually affect your smartphone, whether it is something which is good for your smartphone, whether it damaged your battery in the long run or not, and what are different types of quick charging available in the market. We will be talking about specifically quick charge technology on smartphones and tablets. So in this one, we will be talking about the quick charge technology by Qualcomm. So we have this technology coming on many smartphones these days, either they call it quick charge 2.0 or they call it quick charge 3.0 it is slightly different but it is kind of same in terms of the overall implementation so first of all i would like to talk about what is quick charging so quick charging is actually a technology which exists on your smartphone on the pcb it is a hardware there is a power controller chip which is there on your hardware which is the main motherboard of your phone in that case the power controller chip which is designed by qualcomm and there is a circuit for it which actually controls the amount of current which is being delivered to your smartphone and also control over what voltage that current is being delivered and maintaining a right ratio of this current and voltage you can charge your smartphone much faster than the regular charging time which may be taken on your smartphone these days when it comes to different smartphones they may have a bigger battery like 3000 mAh battery or it could be even 4000 to 4100 mAh battery and again this much amount of battery if you have on your smartphone it may take much longer time to charge so in that case to charge them faster they have supplied this technology so in order to charge the phone faster when you plug them for even around half an hour and you are on the go you can get good amount of battery backup on the phone because the phone will get charged faster because of these technologies and you will be able to use the phone for day-to-day -day usage again there are times when you may run out of battery and in this case if your phone support quick charging then you can get much more battery backup connecting that to the same power charger compared to a regular phone which does not have quick charge technology. Now let me talk about what is the difference in between the quick charge 3.0 and 2.0. I have noted down everything on this digital notepad as I always do so that I do not forget anything. So I have actually written that again quick charge 3.0 is almost four times faster than the regular charging technology which you have on any smartphone the regular charging thing. For example if you have a 4000 100 mAh battery it will be 40 percent faster if you have quick charge 3.0 technology on your smartphone compared to the regular charging the regular charging may take like four to five hours whereas in this case you may take around two to two and a half hours now before i continue i would like to highlight several points about charging first of all you should know that the quick charge technology if you have quick charge 3.0 is going to charge your smartphone 40 percent faster compared to the time taken with regular conventional charging which you have on your smartphone apart from that second thing is about the charging technology itself when it comes to the battery and the time taken when you charge a smartphone the time taken from going to 0 to 80 percent is going to be shorter than the time taken for the battery to go from 80 to 100 percent and that is something which happens with the battery because these batteries are lithium polymer ion batteries or lithium ion batteries and it does take that much time to actually charge them from 0 to 100 percent and it is much more amount of time which might be taken on a battery to take it from 80 to 100 percent compared to going from 0 to 80 percent apart from this you should also know that the quick charge 3.0 technology and the 2.0 technology are almost the same it is an improved version or enhanced version of quick charge 2.0 technology from qualcomm let me talk about what is quick charge 2.0 and how does it actually provide different levels of current at different voltages when it comes to the first level the first level at which the quick charge 2.0 technology operates when you start charging your smartphone from from 0 to 80 percent or to 0 to 100 percent it operates at 5 volt and it gives you 2 ampere of current on your phone and there is a handshaking technology which happens in this case because a smartphone which actually supports quick charging has a chip on it which actually handshake with the charger which is connected to the power port and tell it to basically provide a specific current at a specific voltage and that is something which happens it is basically a talk happening in between the charger and the smartphone so that the smartphone does not get heated up unlike the other regular conventional charging technology in which if you provide high amount of current the smartphone will get heat up and the battery may explode so in this case there is a circuit involved when it comes to quick charge technology so that your smartphone doesn't explode and it talks to the charger so that the current and voltage can be controlled the second level at which quick charge 2.0 technology actually works is 9 volt and it provides 
2 ampere current again at the third level the charging current is around 1.6 ampere and the voltage is around 12 volt and all these different voltages keep on changing as per the communication which is happening between the smartphone and the charger so that the voltage and the current level is controlled in such a way that the overall heating of the smartphone can be controlled it will definitely get heated up when you charge a smartphone which has quick charge 3.0 technology it will not explode and the heating will not be that much that you cannot hold the phone in hand so it is perfectly safe on your smartphone in case your smartphone have quick charge 3.0 technology and you are charging it with that with a quick charger which is supplied and support that technology your smartphone is not going to be affected neither the battery is going to be affected nor the smartphone status or health will be affected so this is how things actually work when it comes to this technology now let me talk about quick charge 3.0 technology which is actually an improved version of 2.0 now let me talk about how is quick charge 3.0 technology different from 2.0 technology on the 2.0 technology when it comes to quick charge you have four different voltage levels the first one is 5 volt which gives you 2 ampere of current the second one is 9 volt which is also giving you approximately 2 ampere of current the third level is 12 volt which gives the device around 1.5 6 ampere of current and the last one is 20 volt which is used for certain devices when it comes to 3.0 technology there are no fixed voltage levels there are no fixed current levels it is a range at which it operates when it comes to the range it starts from 3.2 volt and it goes up to 20 volt and the current in between this particular range as per the voltage it is the current varies and it actually optimizes the performance in such a way that it actually charges the battery faster depending on how much current should be supplied at different point of time as per the voltage it has so it will make sure that the battery is not heating up it will also make sure that it provides maximum current so that the electrons inside your lithium polymer and battery can actually be excited and can actually reach a state in which they can get charged and they can combine with the ions which are there inside and they can combine with the ions which are there inside your smartphone battery so this way the quick start 3.0 technology is actually efficient because it maintains an optimum level of current and voltage so that it does not damage the smartphone so that it does not make the smartphone heat up that much and it will also prevent the exploding of the battery inside the smartphone now let me talk about the chipsets and the devices which support quick start 3.0 technology and 2.0 technology the complete list of these devices is given at the link which is there in the description of this video for both quick start 2.0 as well as for quick charge 3.0 let me talk about the chipset which support quick charge 3.0 when it comes to the qualcomm chipset which support quick charge 3.0 it is snapdragon 820 it is snapdragon 620 it is snapdragon 618 it is 615 and it is snapdragon 430. HTC1 A9 is one of the first few devices to have quick charge 3.0 technology. It has a battery of 2150 mAh and let me give you some figures. When it comes to these figures, these figures are about the time taken by the phone which is HTC1 A9 with a battery of 2150 to charge when you charge it from 0 to 100% with the regular charger. When you charge it from 0 to 100% with a Qualcomm Quick Charge 2.0 charger or when you charge it with a Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 charger. So that is the kind of difference it will be. Let me talk about the time which will be taken by a regular charger. For example, a 1 ampere charger if you are using it with HTC One A9. It will take around 3 hours 30 minutes to charge that phone. That is pretty long time. When it comes to a charger which has Quick Charge 2.0 technology it will take around 2 hours 20 minutes which is slightly shorter time and again all the devices when it comes to Qualcomm when they supply quick charge 3.0 technology they're also backward compatible that means you can use a charger which supports 2.0 technology on that phone as well let me talk about the time which will be taken by a Qualcomm certified or a Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 charger, it will be 1 hour 30 minutes, which is much lesser than the time which we have told you before. So this is the kind of fast charging you have on Quick Charge 3.0 technology, which is much faster than 2.0 as well as from a regular conventional charger. Apart from this, we have some more figures which includes how faster is Quick Charge 3.0 compared to Quick Charge 2.0. So it is approximately 38 percent more faster if you use quick charge 3.0 
charger on your phone if it supports that it will be 38 percent faster than compared to the time taken with the qualcomm certified quick charge 2.0 charger so this is the kind of difference you have now i hope i have been clear to make you understand what is quick charging technology how does it actually work it does not work like on any smartphone there has to be a hardware which is the power controller hardware there has to be a chip on the motherboard which actually controls the voltage and the current which is supplied to your smartphone so that the phone can charge faster you can get much more battery backup even by charging that phone for like half an hour and that is something which quick charge technology actually does it solves the problem which happens in day-to-day -day usage because we forget to charge a smartphone and that is something which happens with everyone and in that case if you have a phone which supports quick charge technology you will be able to charge it much faster compared to other phones out there and that is why this technology is something which is important for you this is all we have in case you have any queries and questions which are not cleared in this particular video please let me know you can also like this video this video actually help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you